So guess what? Ryan's back. He's uh, healthy and... Um, I don't know about healthy, but I'm back. <laughs> He's all clear. He's all Twitter. I'm all Twitter. Flutter. Because I had this idea that I was going to run into Ryan's arms. I haven't seen you so long. You know. <laughs> so we're going to show you guys some cool animals, so stay tuned. So while Ryan was not feeling that great, I decided to grab a couple of gifts for him. And uh, let's show you real quick. So I went to a reptile show and got some stickers. This is a Bane of My Exotic sticker. Yeah. Ryan didn't know that. Uh, Bodacious Balls. And uh, those stickers. Then I got this is special order from Megan Kelly. That's right. Mega Conda, Megan Kelly, and uh, she's awesome. We love her. She. We got four uh, stickers from her, and um, they are five dollars each. Four dollars went to US Arc per sticker, so it's pretty cool. It's always good to support US Arc. Then I got a couple shirts that show some of these people gave me. Two of them I bought. I got Bane of My Exotics shirt. That's one for Ryan. Or maybe that one was for me and this one was for Ryan, I think. Whichever one's the small one. Is, uh, That's not know. funny. Good. Two of the bean that. my exotics. Thanks, Bane. <laughs> uh, and then let's see if Ryan knows who this guy is. Osman. Osman, that's right. You know little Mikey from the block. <laughs> so Osman, he's been producing some really cool stuff. He gave us a bag as well. Uh, and then Holy crap, you guys have gone in on the shirts. I'm loving it. <laughs> um, this is uh, Bodacious Balls. There's a bigger picture on the back. And guys, if you want us to rep any of your merch on our videos, please just send them to the PO box link down below. That's right. I'm an XL, Ben's a 2X. That's right. He says. <laughs> for now, COVID's got me uh, gaining some weight. And one for Ryan as well. Oh, thanks, buddy. Boom. And then, on to a couple other cool things. So this is a gift that I got for Ryan, and I got me one too. What? And you're opening it? But ow hey! What the heck you say? Whoops. <laughs> Justin! There's uh, some stickers and stuff in there. So this is Justin's new uh, calendar, and um, by Brittany Gobble. So it's, whoa, goodness. But it's 18 month. It's pretty dope. Showing off some of his snakes. Take you all the way into 2022. Yeah. Get out of here. And Brittany's cool pictures. <laughs> so I got one for Ryan, one for me. Mine's the one he didn't drop. Yeah. Justin signing some cards and some stickers as always. And then, the last but not least, one of our customers from New York, New York. real cool lady, she uh, bought a couple animals from us. She sent us, this is something cool, it's really cool, her name's Chris. So Chris, thank you so much for this. Uh, this is pretty cool, actually, and I'm gonna give it to Ryan, because I already looked through it, but it is an what? old magazine, he what loves this stuff, that? from 2001. And it talks about blue tongue skinks, and there's a whole bunch of really cool articles and uh, old school pictures and people in here. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It's Twenty years old, man. Yeah, so you get to see there's like, you know, Dang. all the old, different. The old ads are the best. Yeah, so there's all these old old cool things in here that are 
fun and um, freedom breeder racks uh, <laughs> ads for them. Uh, I just thought it was really awesome. So thank you, Chris. And uh, I'm going to give this to Ryan because it's something right up his alley. He loves this stuff. I have to put it in the collection. Yeah. All right. So thank you guys so much for all of your support and all the fun stuff that you give us. And uh, yeah, let's get on to some animals. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize in advance. It has been a while. It's been too long. Welcome back, guys. Let's look at some animals. I uh, really wanted to show you some hidden gene walma stuff because it's really starting to color up now. Uh, some of this stuff is for sale. Some of it is not. If it's not, don't cry about it. So it is. Hey, they're always very feisty. Is a hidden gene woma fire yellow belly? Goodness. Um, Look at that head stamp. Could be something else in there. But uh, very impressive looking animal. I don't know. Is the camera washing out the belly? Like, um, it's I got bet. this peach. <laughs> <laughs> this peach look to it. Mm hmm. So that's <laughs> that guy. This one is interesting. We think this is an Enchi Fire Hidden Gene Woma Arroyo. Mm hmm. I love how smooth and clean it is. And for some reason, this is up for sale. <laughs> it is a female. I thought it was a female. It's because we have so much. Uh, Hold back, but look at that head stamp is ridiculous. It's real cool. Damn. So this is a firefly and she hit in Jimoma, I believe. Mm-hmm. Very nice looking. Man. All the hidden genoma stuff eats really well and is very ready to bite you. So if you're into <laughs> that, if you're into animals that eat well, I just seem to, uh, you know, this is the project for you. you ready? Another one that's still for sale. I don't understand how this could be for sale. It's so beautiful. Mm hmm. Problem is, a lot of people say they don't understand hidden gene woma. And it's just a, a an enhancing kind of morph and a pattern changer. And it's uh, just a bad name. That's really what it is. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. This one we haven't properly ID'd yet, but I believe it's a Superfly Hidden Gene Woma, maybe Yellow Belly, possibly. Hmm. I don't know. Leopard. It's all. It's also a het clown, female, mm -hmm. beautiful. So it's a. Could be Anchi too, right? Mm -hmm. And we're chasing that uh, cryptic around, so. And it has this like faded out pattern. Hey, a bit. <laughs> also, could be calico. All right, all right, all right. You need your point. So yeah. <laughs> Very cool. This one we haven't really ID'd yet either. I think it's a hidden gene one with spot nose combo. So super pastel, spot nose, hidden gene woma, maybe fire het clown. Could be. Very cool looking. Look over here, buddy. <laughs> Look over here. <laughs> so this is another hold back female. Yeah, we just have a lot of hidden gemoma um, holdback females, and those ones should be um, those ones should be like the cryptic type stuff and Krypton Ooh. stuff. Whoa, catch! Jumping. This girl. This one we don't really know what's going on with. This is the Krypton. Uh, the more I talk about it to people, I think that it is. Also, head clown. Mm-hmm. This is the one that wanted to eat your arm off. 
from the moment it came out of the egg. Mm-hmm. So super pastel, leopard, fire, hidden G-Wilma, could be spot nose, head clown. Mm-hmm. Krypton. I still and think it's a Krypton. Also, 50% head lab, possible head pied. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. We got a spot nose, fire clown, female. 50% head lab, possible head pied. Not for sale. <laughs> so cool. That head is ridiculously awesome. Oh, come on. Man. That's a beautiful snake. Lots of pop possibilities there firefly ghi leopard head clown it's pastel too is it a firefly <laughs> is it pastel yeah firefly the pastel is in the firefly you <laughs> messed that one up <laughs> nice little ringer cool little hole back getting big too I'm happy about that so yeah, we held back a lot of stuff t this year mm -hmm. yeah our rack is uh, getting a little too full <laughs> For anybody interested, we still have a couple of Northerns left this year, four to be exact. This one's a nice dark chocolatey one. So if you're interested in getting to something other than snakes, these are awesome. Nice and chubby. Right now they're down for brumation, but. We don't really cool the babies that much for brumation for the first year. Yeah, we just slow down the feeding and usually turn off the heat in the rack. But mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate it, especially during these times where things aren't really normal around here. Uh, thanks for holding on. Um, we got a bunch of isopods for sale, uh, cleanup crews, we got dwarf whites. We got dwarf purples, we got powder blues, we got powder oranges. So yeah, if you need any isopods, hit us up. Also got a website coming in February. Wink wink, Joe Fallon. So yeah, thanks so much. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like Billy from Mutation Creation. See you next time. Am I coming in clear? Okay. <clears throat> He's all clear and um, yeah, still trying to, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna have to cut this one up. Uh, <clears throat> He's all Twitter. I'm all Twitter, flutter. Cause I had this idea that I was gonna run into Ryan's arms. I haven't seen you so long. <laughs>